Analysis indicate that the Chinese Communist Party, CCP's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, is a giant debt trap that helps the CCP profit and control countries worldwide. According to Bloomberg, President Felix Chisketi of the Democratic Republic of Congo at the 53rd Davos World Economic Forum harshly criticized the Chinese Communist Party, CCP's $6.2 billion infrastructure project invested in his country. In an interview at the World Economic Forum in Davos, he said, The Chinese, they've made a lot of money and made a lot of profit from this contract. Chesiketi added, Today the Democratic Republic of Congo has derived no benefit from it. There's nothing tangible, no positive impact, I'd say, for our population. The CCP has not only profited from BRI's constructions in Africa, but also attached some propaganda project in BRI to control the soul of the resource-rich continent. According to Vision Times, the CCP recently invested $40 million to train young cadres ruling parties in six African countries, thereby exporting its governance model. To control the spiritual part of Africa, the CCP built a school called the Mwalamu Julius Nairi School of Leadership in Tanzania. This school officially opened in March 2022 and trains leaders from six countries, including South Africa, Tanzania, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Angola, and Namibia. Vision Times cited analysts saying that besides helping the CCP strengthen its diplomacy with parties, the Mwalimu Julius Nairi School also helped spread the organization's so-called China model. At the heart of the model the CCP wants to spread in Africa is how one party becomes the dominant entity in the country and sustains this dominance in the long run. Observers viewed the Mwalimu Julius Nairi School as a branch of the CCP's school in Africa.